Uh, another person I wanted to thank, actually, uh, but shoot, I haven't seen him here yet tonight. Uh, this person's pretty important because they actually have the envelope for the ceremony, uh, the awardees, and we need that. <laughs> um, I don't, has anyone seen George? George Cantero? No? Hey, give, give me a second. I'm just going to give him a call. I hope you guys don't mind. I mean, we're all family here, right? So uh, let, let me just give him a call. Let's see if we could. Uh, hey, hey, Doug, could, could you put that up on the screen? Hello? Oh, hey, Derek. Hi. Good to see you. What's up? Hi Legionnaires, I'm Jarek Wilhelmsen and I'm here to tell you about some of the do's and don'ts around your social media program. In real life, let's say you've been put in charge of your post social media program. You'll be able to promote the post, promote the Legion, and you'll be able to do it with your own twist. But remember, social media can be one of the most visible images that the outside world has of your post. So how do you walk that line? And what exactly are you allowed to put up on social media? Luckily, the American Legion provides a guide on the national website to help you with your social media plan. The National American Legion Child Welfare Program expanded at one point to add regional field offices in New England, New York, the Midwest, and the Rocky Mountains. Income from the initial $5 million raised in 1925 for the American Legion Endowment Fund was to be divided between veterans rehabilitation and children's welfare, an arrangement that continues today.